Hey guys, welcome back to L&D Home and welcome to another vlog. Totally forgot to do an intro for this. So we just decided to go out on a Saturday and hit up some flea markets. We did not have the best of luck, but we did try. We hit a few and then we also hit a few thrift stores before heading to Home Depot to buy some stuff for a project that we are going to be doing a video on. They were in high school when they met And things got kinda awkward With sparks in the air He would stare at her in class And she would try to act cool But it was obvious like ooh They would be together One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper Started writing Probably something about her eyes And how they're always shining Or something cliche like Ooh yeah. Baby, I only want Well, Sander Before we headed to Home Depot, we went to Breadco for lunch, and yes, I had way too much food. Next time I just get the pick too. But this charged lemonade that my husband got was so good. It's like the Fiji apple one. Definitely a must try. So is it that light? There's spots of it that are that light, yes. The other spots, are they more like a gray or more like a brown? Um, we're talking about the pallet wood right now. Yeah, whatever wood you're talking about using, I don't know. The pallet wood. It's almost like a... It's like this with some texture, uh, with, with some, like, um, uh, grain that has a deeper color, like, maybe, like... In like this realm here. Okay. So do we just want to clear coat it, it then? But it also has like a little bit of like other tint. Like when you say reddish, you're not talking about like red wood right there. No, not that deep of a red. It's hard to describe. But yes, it does have like I don't know. It could be like a mixture of these. Oh well, then I don't. Then I want. I don't want that. I don't want it to be have red in it at all. <laughs> I don't. I don't like red. It's more of a red brown. So I would rather go darker than on the stain. Or try this and see if one of these would cover it. Oh hey guys, I am back in my car. Back in my car. Sorry about the wobbly angle. Um, but I'm back in my car. It took forever to get this bad boy fixed and a forever amount of money. Um, so I woke up this morning. I just got it back yesterday. I woke up this morning. Went to the gym. All was fine. Went to leave the gym an hour later and my check engine light is on. I'm like, what in the world? Like, my check engine light was not on when I took the car in to get fixed. It was like a timing belt situation and other stuff that needed to be done. But there was no check engine light on. Now there's a check engine light on. Isn't adulting fun? <laughs> like, cars are like the worst. The, the the worst, I swear. Like, they take the most amount of money. I'm like, oh my gosh. Jeez Louise, cars and homes, I tell you. Adulting is not all it's cracked up to be. Remind your teenagers that they don't want to grow up so fast. They think they do, because I remember when I was a teenager, I was like, oh my God, I want to grow up. I want to be an adult. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to follow no rules. No, hun, 
hun, I would go back to childhood years in an instant sometimes. Um, but I just went to AutoZone because I had something to return anyway. And it is the camshaft sensor something. So I'm going to be calling the um, place that fixed my car and ask them about that and see if they can look at it. And I guess I'll have to borrow my husband's car. Cool. Yep. Come right on out. Don't run over the guy walking. What are we doing here, guys? What are we doing? Read but I'm going to call them and see what their thoughts on that is. And maybe I'll have to borrow my husband's car for a few days, which is not a big deal because it's summer and I'm not driving to work right now. So we'll see. We'll see. But I am at the bank right now. So I'm going to go in here. We got lots of stuff on the to-do list. I got some homework to do because I am um, in college classes to get my EDS. Um, I have some cleaning to do. I have um, some like cushions that I have to clean for my aunts. I'll probably put that in this vlog instead of a cleaning video because they're not my cushions. Um, yeah, we have lots to do. So let me go into this bank and then we'll see you soon. I'm back again with an update. So I called the car place after I left the bank, um, which cashier's checks are very expensive now. Like, I remember back in the day, they used to be like seven bucks. Okay, and that was expensive. They're 15 now, guys. 15. Oh my God. But anyway, I needed one, so I just had to. But I called the car people, and they were like, yeah, you know, just go ahead and like swing by. Like, we're pretty booked up for the day, but we'll, you know, plug it in and see if we can get it looked at. So I go home, I grab my laptop to get some homework done, because I'm like, I'm going to be sitting there for a while probably, because I'm just like a random walk in at this point. They already had bookings, you know. So I was like, I might be there for a while. I get in the car, I'm driving, and it turns off. <laughs> uh, so I called them again and I explained. And I was like, the car is driving fine. Like it's not driving rough. Like nothing seems like out of the ordinary. You know what I mean? Like it's driving perfectly fine. Um, but the light went off, so I don't know what to do. So they said if the light comes back on again to just go ahead and just buzz up. Like any time in the week, you know, if it comes back on again to just go ahead and pop in and let them know. So um, I am now driving back home again after I made it halfway to the car place, but it is what it is and the light's still off. So I guess, I guess we're gonna be okay today. So all that to say, I feel like I've got nothing done this morning. It is 12, it's noon. Um, I went to the gym and I went to the bank. <laughs> that was all I've gotten done this morning. I feel so unaccomplished. So when I get home, I got to buckle down. I got some stuff that I need to get done. Man, some, sometimes days just go like this, don't they? I decided to get some cleaning therapy in because I was having a very stressful day and work on my aunt's cushions for her covered patio. She had quite a few cushions that were looking a little bit dingy, so I brought them home to my house and pulled out the pressure washer and got them a little bit cleaned up. Now, they didn't come perfectly clean, but I didn't want to rip any of the fabric because I know sometimes when you pressure wash fabric, it can tear and it can rip, and I did not want to destroy all of her cushions, but I did want to get them a little bit more clean for her so that we can get her covered patio straightened up because she likes to have her coffee out there in the morning. Ooh, it's true. And then he said, I wrote you a love song and I tried to make it beautiful. It's a song about your sweet, sweetheart and how nobody can steal me away. I am your oars. Cause I want you and I wanted you to know As he sang she started to dance Grabbed his arm and took his hand He held her close under the moonlight As they kept on dancing song and they sing it kind of beautiful calling each other sweetheart i promise nobody can get in their way or steal the show. it's like 7 30 now i'm just sitting on the couch with bella marie Ooh, i got her a new collar i'll show you in a minute 
Um, but the car fiasco continues. I know this, this vlog was not supposed to be all about car drama. It was not supposed to be. So, um, like I said, the light here went off. Everything was fine. I just left to go to 7-Eleven and then I was going to hit Goodwill. Everything was fine. The light still is not on guys. It's still not on. <laughs> so I get to 7-Eleven. I go inside. I come out and my car won't start. And I'm literally sitting in the parking lot and I'm like, are we doing this? Are we doing this? Like these fixes were so expensive. And I know some of you might be thinking, just buy a new car. And originally that's what the guy had told me from the other place that I had taken it to originally was like, oh, it's just not worth it. Well, sir, some of us can't just afford to buy a new car. Like we don't have that kind of funds. You know what I mean? Like, have you seen the price of used cars? Like, I, like I don't have the funds for that. You know, it. It's like, oh, just buy a new house. You know what I mean? Like, no. So <laughs> I'm in the 7-Eleven parking lot and it won't start. It finally did. It did. And it drove home fine. Needless to say, I never went to Goodwill or get gas. Like, I need gas. I'm not on E, so the car is not starting because I don't have gas in it. There's gas. Um, but I did need to get some because it's not a full tank. But I was, I was afraid to go to the gas station and get stranded. Like, I just spent all of this money, like thousands. To, to fix this car. So I am assuming that the check engine light thing was correct because my car before was having trouble starting and like not like all the time. It would be like once randomly, like every like four weeks, every month and a half. Like it was not like all the time, but it was an issue that I told them about when I took the car in for the other issues that were happening. And the check engine light never came on when they had it or when I had it. And when that check engine light came on today and I took it up to AutoZone and they said it was the cam sensor thing. I have it printed out. Um, I had researched previously, like back in February when my car originally broke down. I've been doing this since February. Okay. Like, look at me. I'm looking so rough. Like I'm so stressed. Look, those are stress bags. Um, I've been doing this since February. Um, so we had done like a lot of research and looking into stuff and the cam situation was something that had come up. So I'm almost just thinking, how much is that going to cost me? And can I replace it myself? <laughs> Cause I will buy a part and replace it myself. I will watch a YouTube video and replace Which, it. Like myself. I said, is not the reason I took the car in though. <laughs> it was part of the reason, but not the main reason. It's a whole long story. Nobody cares, but I'm over this. But on a happier note, let's switch to Bella Marie because she got a new color. So let's, let's see it. Please ignore the state of our couch. The slipcover is in the dryer. Hi, Bella. She's very confused. So let's look at her color. Can I see? Can I see? Yes, I know. I love you too. Oh, yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. She like smells it and she's like, what are you doing? Why are you taking that off? So this was her previous collar from PetSmart, but um, if I can, it's seen better moments. So she's got a new one and we're going to put the new one on her. Are you going to get a new collar? Are you excited? Let's go get it. Oh, that's the new one. Is your new one? Just a new one. Did you like it? It was this or leopard print. I didn't like any of them. This was the one that was the least weird. You want a new one? I know. Oh, we gotta loosen that. We gotta loosen it, hold on. I know, I gotta make it a little bigger. I don't want it to choke you. I know. She's like, put that collar on. Do it. She really likes her collar. Like she likes having it on. Like some dogs do not like having their collar on. Um, she really hates having it off. <laughs> I don't know if it's because it smells like her or it makes her feel secure. Yes, thank you for the look. Um, but she doesn't like having it off. It it makes her irritated. Can I get it? I don't want to pinch you. Oh my gosh, I'm always afraid I'm gonna pinch her skin. Oh, look at that. Do you like it? You're so pretty. Look at oh my goodness. Look at you. Look at you. Okay, I throw the old one away. Make peace with it. Yes, make peace with it. 
Kuatai. Hashu Kuatai. Oh, also, let me give you an update on the pool while we're out here. So, <laughs> it's rained so much here that this side is sinking again. Remember, we did all of that to jack it up. We literally had it like, I mean, it's still better than it was, but we had it like almost like perfect when we jacked it up. But this, this side, I guess, is like softer or something because like this side is sinking and again, the pavers are. So we're probably gonna have to jack up a little bit more on this side and put something very like small in just for the season. But that's the update on that. She's waiting for the the neighbor dog to come out so she can try and attack him even though he's bigger than her. Come on, come on. Let's go back inside. Yes, and our yard is terrible, terrible. Um, we have moles, had moles, have moles. I don't know if they're still around, but um, our yard is terrible. My dentist stick. She has the worst breath. Tell him. Tell him. Say, my breath is so bad. It's so bad. So, so bad. And she won't let me um, brush her teeth. So I bought these dentist sticks. They're supposed to be with real chicken. She won't eat the green ones. I've tried the green ones before. Um, but she will eat these. So. Do you go, pee -pee? And there she goes. Off she goes. Well, while she sneaks away, I did get this. This will probably be in a home update video. I got this from Aldi, and it was it was supposed to be $19.99. Ended up being $15.99. It's just a sunshade um, for over the patio. Um, so we're going to attach two of the corners to those posts, and then that's going to attach to the house. So I do have to put this up eventually. Um, and I don't think we're going to get to extending the patio this summer, I am gonna try to fix this crack though. That's gonna be an upcoming video, um, probably that in the sunshade, so stay tuned for that. But um, where I don't think we're gonna um, have the budget or the time to extend that this summer because the pool was so much work and my husband's like, yeah, no. Um, so we're gonna attach the sunshade to, I'm trying to find the corner, <laughs> that and that and then up there somewhere just to give us a little bit of shade right here on the patio situation. Before sitting down to do an immense amount of homework because I have been slacking during these summer courses because I've just been enjoying my summer and doing projects, I decided to update our calendar. Now it's summer, so we don't have a ton going on, but we do have two things this week. And K, by the way, means kids. <laughs> we have um, kids on Tuesdays and Wednesdays. But I wanted to update the calendar so we just knew what was going on. And I also am going to be updating our food board so we know what we are having for dinner and what available snacks the kids can grab to eat. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I won. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope you found it helpful or at least entertaining. Make sure you check out the video and the playlist on the screen. And as always, smash that subscribe button so you can become part of our YouTube family. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.